Hello everyone. Let's discuss about energy forms and how it changes into another forms. According to law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can change its form into another. Let us understand this law by using FET simulation. Here we consider various forms of energy using symbols to identify the flow of energy easily. Gray color to represent mechanical energy. Blue color to represent electrical energy. Red color to represent thermal energy. Yellow color to represent light energy. Green color to represent chemical energy. First of all, let's see how the mechanical energy is converted into thermal energy. When we turn the tap, the water from the pipe falls on the turbine blades and rotates the turbine. It is because of mechanical energy of the water, seen in gray color. The generator coupled with the turbine, in turn produces electrical energy from the mechanical input, obtained from the turbine, which is represented by blue color bars here. This electrical energy is supplied to the heater, placed in a container of water. The heater converts the electrical energy into thermal or heat energy, and heats up the water, seen as red colored blocks. Due to this heat energy, the water gets boiled and forms into steam. With the rise in temperature, we can observe a rise in thermometer reading. If we replace the heater with light bulb, for the same source of energy, the electrical energy from the generator, is supplied to light bulb. The light bulb converts electrical energy, to light and heat energy. But, most of the energy is converted as heat energy, and only a small part is converted into, light energy. Now, if we replace the light bulb with fluorescent lamp, then a very small part of energy is lost, in the form of heat energy, and most of the part is converted into, light energy effectively, seen in yellow color. Let us repeat the same process by replacing the water tap, with a kettle filled with water in it. By heating the kettle with a heat source, water in the kettle gets heated up, and converts into steam, which in turn rotates the turbine. The turbine in turn rotates the generator, which produces electrical energy. This electrical energy is used by heater, to produce thermal or heat energy. Similarly, in place of heater if we consider a light bulb, electrical energy gets converted into, light and heat energy. Observe the same, for the fluorescent lamp, in place of light bulb. Now let us see, how the chemical energy is transferred into, various forms of energy. The boy on a bicycle, while pedaling, converts the chemical energy in his body, into mechanical energy, and a part of the energy is lost, in the form of heat energy. This mechanical energy through pedaling, is transferred to the turbine, which drives the generator to rotate. The generator produces electrical energy, and is again converted into heat energy by using heater. We can observe, the other forms of conversion, by replacing the heater, with light bulb, and fluorescent lamp. Now, let's see, how the solar or light energy is converted into various forms of energy. When there are no clouds, the light energy from the sun, is absorbed by the solar panel, 
and releases electrons, which are stored in the battery in form of electrical energy. This electrical energy is supplied to heater, where it is converted into heat energy. If there are lots of clouds in the atmosphere, the light energy from the sun does not reach the solar panel. So no electrical energy is generated. As a result, we can see the light bulb does not glow. We can also obtain light and heat energy by replacing heater with light bulb and fluorescent lamp. I hope you understand these various forms of energy conversions through this video. Thank you.